Right now we're in the center of Sukumi, Abkhazia, which is an autonomous republic. It's not recognized by America or Canada, or actually most countries in the world, as a country of its own. In this hard time for our fatherland, I appeal to each citizen, whatever nationality he is, to stand up in defense of Abkhazia. We are invincible in such unity. We're currently on Victory Avenue, and this is Freedom Park. Abkhazia is located on the Black Sea. So as you can see behind me, um, you have pine trees and palm trees side by side amongst all the abandoned buildings. The geography of Abkhazia is quite interesting. Um, these are some of the abandoned buildings that I've been mentioning. Um, but this is one, this one is different. This one is significant. This is the liberation of the capital, Sukhum, from the Georgian occupation. Abkhazia and Georgia are very closely related. However, Georgia began demanding independence from the Soviet Union. Due to this, Abkhazia wanted to establish an autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic. It's a grim reminder of what's happened here. Abkhazia does have an airport which was built in the 1960s. However, it isn't currently functioning as an international airport. Because of this, there are only a couple ways to get in. We chose crossing over land via the Georgian border. We flew into Tbilisi and drove across through the second largest city, Kutaisi, all the way to the town of Zugdidi. Abkhazia is a Christian society, but few who declare themselves as such attend religious services. According to the last census conducted a few years back, the population is currently about a quarter million, which is quite ethnically diverse, consisting mainly of Abkhaz, Georgians, Russians, and Armenians, but also including Ukrainians, Belarusians, Greeks, and Turks. Usually when I go to a country that's not so explored, I get a lot of attention. But here, I'm just another person. Watch Madrid. Madrid. Rent apartment for 1,500. Uh, no need. No need? No. Today I leave. I go. This is one of the most interesting structures I've seen so far. I'm going to call it the Akazian cruise ship. The economy is heavily integrated with Russia and uses their currency. Since 2008, the economy has seen an increase in stability. Despite the controversy surrounding the Republic, tourism is a key industry, frequented mainly by Russians. In fact, more than a million visited Abkhazia in 2014. So, we've just successfully made it out of Abkhazia after some Georgia. minor interrogation. A bunch of questions asked, what were you doing here? Where were you? How long were you here? Make sure you uh, get your visas. As you can see back there, that's the uh, Abkhazian border. And right now we're on the Friendship Bridge. And we're heading towards the Georgian border. Thank you.